Greetings to all on the other side of the screen. I am the Overly Positive Fanboy and this is Overly Positive Vlogs, the show where I give my unfiltered thoughts on the latest TV. And we're back with the third episode of The Beaker Girls, Between a Net and a Hard Place. In this episode, Jess and Patience discover a ghost net lying on the beach. This great massive net that apparently washed up from the shipwreck ages ago. It threatens all life in the ocean, should it ever wash back into the big blue sea, and Jess and Patience are basically trying to organise a campaign to get it taken off the beach before it can wreck the environment and stuff. But of course, there's another major hurdle going on in this episode, as we're still dealing with the fallout of Ash's betrayal last time. So yeah, funny enough, this episode didn't really have a whole lot to do for Tracy, as this was basically just a story, dealing with her emotional fallout from what Asha did to her in the previous episode, and how it's still finding it hard to forgive and all that. And one thing I was also pleasantly surprised by was that we actually get a lot of focus for patience this time around, as we get to see a glimpse of her family life, mostly in the form of her kind of annoying brother coming over after being away for reasons I can't quite remember. But yeah, he tries to help out in the campaign and his efforts almost make things worse because he basically graffitis to get the message out and he angers Mrs. Cook. Yeah, that was actually quite interesting because the interactions between Mrs. Cook and Patience's mother almost make it sound like there's some sort of history I don't know about. I'm kind of curious to learn what the drama is. Of course, Jordan also gets to spend a lot of time in this episode, mostly as a peacemaker, as she's the one who keeps pushing for Jess and Asher to patch things up. Oh yeah, also in regards to the Jess Asher subplot, we also get a great moments with Sai of all people, as he actually manages to offer some pretty useful advice, all things considered. And of course, Jordan's own great advice also manages to help out in terms of actually resolving the conflict in a fairly timely manner, which also helps motivate more people to help out getting rid of the ghost net, with some assistance from Mrs. Cook as well, because yeah, regardless of whatever's going on with her, she does also care about this stuff. Yeah, I'd say this was a pretty good episode overall, and I will definitely be tuning in next week, because yeah, I checked. Looks like we do have more than three episodes this time. So, does make me wonder how many we're getting. Well, I'll be seeing you folks, and remember, it can be a harsh world out there, so let's try and make things a little more positive, shall we?